All right, here we go. Part three of my favorite five cents. We got our big boys, the ones that cost a thousand and up. Now these, it's a bigger range in prices on these because of the fact that I'm not going, going to make four or five parts, like a cents over 3000 or something like that. Nah, it just our part three. We're going to talk about the ones over a thousand. I call them my higher end, my big boys, the ones you save up a little bit to get. So click that like, click that subscribe. Stay in tune, favorite five, higher end sense. Let's go. All right, let's get into it. Number one on my list of the higher end sense from 1000 on up is the rolling system eight anybody knows me know i love my rolling 80 cents so this thing is a dream come true for somebody like me it's got it's the plug it out technology so basically you got emulations of like the bigger poly sense from the 80s you can put them inside of this board so this one comes loaded with the 106 and the jupiter 8 and the system eight cent inside of it. So it's like you're getting three cents in one. Um, the amount of oscillators and the behavior of the oscillators are according to the sounds that you have loaded into it. So obviously the 106 is not gonna have the same stuff as the Jupiter and they're both not gonna have the same thing as the system eight. So the system eight gives you all the capabilities. You get three oscillators, you get two LFOs, you get envelopes, on the filter and the amp um what else i like about this synth is man i love the sequence on this one i love it this is one of the favorite sequences i have this one is not super robotic it's not super like you get some feel to it man and then and i like the arp on it too so i i like this synth let me be specific and clear because it's the rolling ACB technology. In my opinion, like their plugins can emulate some of the stuff that goes on here. The plugins are almost the same. Like they did a phenomenal job of emulating their old keyboards. But I like the feel of this synth. It is some people don't like the sound of it. I like the sound of it personally, but some people don't like the sound of it. A lot of people say it's too thin or it has that certain texture that this synth has. You can kind of tell it's this synth. I don't really hear that and feel that. I just like using the synth. It feels good. I like the sound of the filter on it too. So I like the fact that it's a delay and a reverb. That's kind of rare on like a synth with like a knob per function, like some of the other ones where you can dig into them. They got four slot matrices and stuff like that. Yeah, you can make things happen. But this one on a knob per function synth, you got reverb and delay, which is dope. So yeah, this synth is pretty nice. I like the fact that it does like change according to which one you have loaded up. You can have four synths in one. So you got the System 8, you got the 106, you got the Jupiter, but then you got a slot for another one. So yeah, it's a pretty bang for the buck though. Yeah, it's like, like I say, that if you getting it right out of the box, that's like $500 per cent if you're really being technical. So yeah, that's, that's not a bad option. It's a great synth. I like how it sounds. I like the capabilities of it. And I just like playing around with it. So number one on my list for the big boys is the Roland System 8. Boom. All right, next on my list is the biggest of the big boys. That's the Moog 1. Probably the craziest, most expensive synth ever made. Um, I can't think of any that you got all these features on. It's three oscillators, three part multi-timbrality, um, not paraphonic like not like on some of the sense where each oscillator can be played separate no you get three synths inside of here which i'm still not understanding <laughs> especially the fact that you can put it in unison mode and you got like let's say if you got the eight voice version you get what's that eight times three you get 24 oscillators on each key which i don't understand <laughs> and if you got the 16 voice version you get 48 oscillators it's nuts, man. Like this keyboard is, is like like driving a Rolls Royce spaceship. That's what it's basically like. Each synth part has its own effect section, and you can put a master synth over everything. Um, the envelopes got delay and all type of crazy extra features on them. They're not just like ADSR. You got one on the um, you got three of them. You got one 
to program. You got one on the filter and one on the amp. You got CV in and out. You got everything on this thing. FM ring modulation, inputs on the mixer side, um, the fil two filter types. This thing is crazy. For it to be so expensive, like the eight voice is an arm and a leg and the 16 voice is an arm, leg and a foot. I thought I'd never see one in real life. Like I've only seen one memory mode in real life. I thought it was gonna be a situation like that, but honestly, since this thing has been out, I've been like consistently in situations around it. Um, When it first came out, I used it at the Guitar Center in Hollywood. I was sitting there for like two hours. I know they wanted to kick me out. I was sitting there for like two hours using it, going through every little thing. I wanted to pull my laptop out and just make beats right there, but I couldn't. And a friend of mine bought one so I actually got to go to his setup a couple times and use it. And then the Synth Museum here in Chicago, I've used it for a few hours in there. So for a synth that's like eight grand, I got a decent amount of usage like on that thing so far, man. Um, it's a phenomenal synth. It's like I say, I haven't, I can't think of a synth that has more to it. Just the fact that you got three parts. So you can set it up in the menu to send MIDI out to the three parts separately. I did it on my NPC Live. So basically like you, and even on the eight voice version, you got one voice for the lead, one voice for the hum, bass, and you got still got six voices for your other stuff, your pads, if you wanna do something crazy. And I'm not great, I'm only using like four fingers or something when I'm doing my chord. So I still got two voices left. So yeah, the thing is crazy, man. Um. I really, there's no flaw in this synth. Four LFOs, I forgot about that. So you can add crazy texture, craziness to your sounds. Um, the key bed is phenomenal. It's a 61 key, key bed. I think Fatar made this one specifically for this keyboard. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know Fatar made it. Um, and it feels Fatarish. <laughs> so yeah, this thing is crazy. It's got the XY pad. So you can add some craziness to the sound. So yeah, it's, I can't even really think of anything that you would want on a synth that's not in this thing, man. Um, ARP sequencer, the ARP feels good. I'm, um, you know, I'm an NPC dude, so I'm always going off of like, if it's an ARP, I want it to feel a certain way. I want it to be too robotic. I want it to feel musical and this ARP feels musical. I like that. Um, the effects section is done by Ventide, so what's that saying, man? It's like you got like a H9 inside of the three H9s inside of here. Like it's mind-boggling when you think of all the stuff inside of here, man. Like it's got a USB port on it, so you can hook up like a USB keyboard when you want to like write patch names and stuff. Like they thought of everything, man. Like they literally thought of everything. So this is definitely this one in the bucket list since. Hopefully one day I can own one. I'm gonna aim for that A voice. Like, I, I'm making a declaration. I'm gonna get myself one. I'm gonna trade myself up to it. So it may take me two, three years, but I'm gonna get myself one of these because I, like I said, I don't think it's another synth in the world as good as this one. Um, now, it may be some like, some people might swear by like, if you got a Jupiter, I can't say that you don't got a crazy synth or like, just like a CS80 or something like that. Yeah, you got a phenomenal synth or like an original mini mode. But I'm not talking about how much it's worth. I'm not talking about the capabilities and how it sounds. I don't think anything is touching it. So check it out. Um, hopefully you get a chance to get your hands on one. I've used it, I wouldn't say extensively, but I used it a decent amount to know. Um, it was intimidating first time I used it because I wasn't used to like a mold having some menu stuff on it even though you got a lot of options there is a lot a few menu things you got to do on there i wasn't used to a mode having that but when i wrapped my rhyme around the, the architecture the synth it was over i got like at least 40 patches inside of my life that i sampled and made from this thing so and i'm not even selling those and i'm keeping those until i buy it then i'll sell them <laughs> But yeah, check out the Moog One. It's a super dope synth. If you can afford it, I envy you. <laughs> Get it. All right, next on my list is the Arturia Matrix Group. 
like I said previously, if the Moog One is a Rolls Royce spaceship, this is like a, a Bentley spaceship when it comes to mono sense. Um, the, this is the mono sense. This thing looks like a spaceship, man. Like you got this 256 point matrix that you can basically route anything to anything, which is crazy. Um, three oscillators on this joint with well, oscillator three being an LFO or oscillator is how you use it. Three oscillator, three LFOs with LFO three being switchable between an oscillator and an LFO. Um, two different filters, which is dope because you can put them in parallel in series or you can have them like feed into each other like one effect the other one and then you still got that master cutoff that quick knob like i was saying you always gotta have that quick knob so we can get to it that helps us when we producing in my opinion so yeah three oscillator joint um you get three envelopes you get one on the filter one on to basically for the modulation and one for the amp um and then that matrix is on another level you can come into the synth itself and process audio that way you got 16 cv in inputs and outputs they're all hardwired to, to functions that they input to so you can't just they're not just assignable but they didn't really leave out anything with 16 in and 16 out it's got an insert so you can actually like run effects into it which is crazy like the fact that you can put like a reverb like you, let's say you got like myself i got the pcm 60 lexicon reverb like you can put it in there like it's crazy um there is a an effect section in it which which the other one would just be icing on top um yeah the i don't like the rpg on this one i'm not even gonna lie it feels plastic it feels like stiff to me but everything else on the spot is, is phenomenal man i can't really talk too much crazy about it it's it's probably like the best mono synth you can buy like with the capabilities and the features i'm not gonna say it sounds as good as something like um like the subsequent 37 i think it sounds deeper or like the pro 3 i like it a little bit more but the capabilities of this like second to none you get nothing compared to the capabilities um this one is monophonic and duophonic so yeah you can get some things done with it man um I love this synth. Um, I was honestly on the on the fence about this when I had it for a little while, and it, it's just a monster. It just was too big for my setup, to be honest. Um, I, I got the space for it now, but back then I didn't have the space for it. So I'm, I'm revisiting the idea of grabbing this because when I'm using my subsequent or my Pro 3, sometimes I want to do some things that that a little bit out of the box and that'd be super fast with that matrix just being able to boop boop and get it done so i'm thinking about grabbing one of these to be honest that'll like complete my little mono synth setup i won't need another mono synth after i grab this one so um yeah this one is pretty dope it's got everything you need inside of it and i'm not saying like the bass and the lead sounds are bad um i just don't think the bass is as good as the other synths from my experience just having it in my setup knowing what i want to hear but it does have a place so yeah this thing is great it's the best mono synth on the market mm, it's a monster so yeah the matrix brew if you can afford that price tag two grand which is crazy because that price is like going up and down at first it was two grand and went up to like 22 now it's back down to two grand so i don't know if they like gonna discontinue it because of the poly brute or what but i hope they don't because i don't think the poly brute replaces replaces the matrix brute i think they're two different animals so yeah the matrix brute man get that use that it's a beast all right next on my list is the sequential pro 3 this thing, man, three oscillators, two VCOs, one digital wavetable oscillator, which I think in the future they may make it like user interchangeable. I may be out of the loop. It might be done already. I don't know for sure, but I just got my nose in this thing since I got it, and it's, it's phenomenal. Two effect slots. Um, it's so much stuff on it. It's hard to remember. I need to just look at it, man. It's one of the, probably the best synth purchases I've ever made. Um, it's got four envelopes, one on the filter, one on the amp, 
and two to put on whatever you want you just use the matrix to make it happen um got a distortion circuit in there which is a1 um and that's good because usually you gotta you gotta choose that in the effects section but now on here distortion is by itself so that's nice um it's got a feedback circuit too that's tunable like it's in tune with the music it's, it's crazy man and um three filters the profit filter the mode filter i don't say it but the mode filter and then the um ob6 filter so you got three filter options when you think about all the capabilities and then you got four cv outs four cv ends and they all it's they're not hardwired like other synths they're assignable inside of the menu so you can make those cv inputs and outputs do whatever you want it's got a gate out too so yeah this this thing is um by far the best synth i've had um i don't i don't see myself getting rid of it the only thing i didn't like about it is the way the menus in the middle of the keyboard i wish it was over to the left or maybe over to the right but that's just a preference thing and lastly the sequencer on here is phenomenal like there's only like two or three cents that i actually like the sequencer on like the mini log the system eight and now this is number three i love the sequence on here i hate the sequence on my moog i love the sequence on here um it just feels good i don't know why it just does i can't even explain it more than that it just feels good so definitely get your hands on this joint it's all a hype like some people saying it's the best mono synth ever the sound of it yeah like i said the matrix brute got a little bit more capabilities of what you can do but the sound of this nothing compares to this man like just straight mono synth i'm not talking about something patchable i'm not talking about playing with the big boys like the mode one where you can put one put all 24 voices on one key no i can't compare to that but just a mono synth a1 i actually met dave smith a couple times i was in that booth almost more than him and nam last year i went to that booth at least six or seven times and he actually showed me something one of those times i was in there so imagine that like you get the synth god to be able to show you some things you know what i'm saying so this thing is phenomenal i knew i had to have it as soon as it came in a budget i grabbed it it was one of the best purchases i'm so happy i got it and it jumped the line because i was supposed to buy a couple other things before i bought it but after using it for those three four days i had to buy it so the sequential pro 3 definitely one on my big boy list all right last but definitely not least on the list of the big boys is actually a big girl the moog matriarch this thing is a phenomenal semi-modular scent um 90 patch points four oscillators they can be played like chords like paraphonically um what else this two filters now they could be used as a stereo filter or it could be used in parallel or a series or whatever like it's two filters on here which is crazy if you really think about like the cost per thing on this synth for two grand yeah you're getting a steal um i like the lfo section um on the grandmother it could be used as another oscillator but you don't need it on here because you got the four oscillators um i love the fact that they took away the spring reverb it sounds good but it only really gave me one tone whereas the delay that they put on this one they got the ping pong and they got the normal so and with you could do a little bit more with making crazy stuff happen than the spring reverb and the spring reverb was kind of weird like if i'm making beats um i had the grandmother for a while like if i'm making beats and like it's banging too hard then the spring is moving then it's aggravating me because it's like some tone in the background i don't really understand or, or not like um hearing so i didn't like the spring reverb <laughs> even though it was nice on certain patches it wasn't it wasn't something that i used all the time so yeah, um, this thing is great. Um, also from the grandmother to this one, they added another envelope. Cause I hated the fact, even though the other one had two envelopes, you just had to do some weird stuff. You had to split the envelope in half. 
But this one, no, they gave you two. They gave you one for the filter, one for the amp, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's really nothing I can say bad about this synth, man. It's it's not like one of those, man, what I didn't like about it. Nah, I love everything about this one. Um, it's actually next, next on my list. Um, I'm probably going to get the ASM and then get this because at this point I'm just looking for synths that give me different things that I got already so I got a few things going I just want something different than what I got going and definitely this matriarch is gonna give me that um I didn't really like the sequence on the grandmother I played around with this one one time a couple times um I didn't really like the sequence on it either I like the art but I didn't like the sequence on it um that's just a preference thing. That's just weird volcano beach thing. So yeah, um, it's probably a great sync with a. It's 64 step. I mean, 256 steps, not 64. It's 256 steps, which is crazy. Which that probably just means I need to dig in more into it because that's 264 steps, man. That's I mean, 256 steps. That's like eight bars or something like that. So, so yeah, like it's a lot you can do with that. So I can't even front on that. Um, but yeah, the, the oscillator sound great. That's why I like the grandmother because I don't know if they did it purposely, but um, the oscillators aren't aggressive or like as strong as the ones on my subsequent, which I'm pretty sure was done purposely because this one has the aesthetic of like a vintage scent. It, it reminds me of like an MG1 when I first saw them the grandmother so they kind of went for that in my opinion they went for like a more vintagey sound like not it's it's not gonna like knock stuff off of the walls but it's gonna give you like some of those tones that you need when you like building your synth collection man like everything don't have to knock stuff off of the walls and that's how i feel this one i, I when i had it i didn't i never felt like it was smacking me in the face when I had the grandmother, um, or, and when I've used this one, I never felt it like just smacking me in my face, knocking me down, but it was massaging me to sleep though. Like, I love it. I love how this thing sounds. It's got that vintage tone to it. And I won't have to, I could buy this and not have to worry about like maintenance on the vintage scent. Like I got to with some of my other ones. So this one is definitely on my list. It's on the next three for sure. This one along with like the um, Hydra scent. Uh, on my next to cop so yeah i had the grandmother for a while but it just i, I didn't like the fact that the awesome i mean the, um the envelope thing it just i give me an envelope for the filter and one for the amp i don't need that split thing so yeah that, that kind of threw me off with that one so I, I got rid of it but this one i'm gonna grab it hopefully i can get a dark one hopefully i get my budget right before the dark ones go out of before they stop making the dark ones um because I, the, that's the only thing I don't like about these matriarchs. They look kind of Fisher Pricey, Fisher Pricey, with the um. That's why I say it looks like the MG1 almost with these color coded parts in each section. Like if you're paying two grand for a synth, you shouldn't know what each section is doing in my opinion. Like so, like you don't have to tell me like okay, this is the oscillator section by being a different color, or this is the filter. Like nah, I don't need that. Like if if I'm paying two grand for a synth, I should know that. If not, you need to buy a $200 synth and learn it. So yeah, I, I just I want the dark one. Now that they brought the dark one out, I'm definitely grabbing it. So this one is the last on my list of the big boys. We're gonna call this one the big girl, the matriarch to round it up. So there you have it, part three of my favorite five cents. Um, we had to go deeper. We chose 15 actually. So yeah, it's, cause synths, you can't just go with five, man. Like you gotta give them different levels. So yeah, I couldn't compare a matriarch to a base station. You know what I'm saying? Like they both got value to whoever the user is or a mold one to a hydra set. No, they, I can't say one is better than the other one because they're on different levels. But this one on this level is great and this one on this level is great. So that's why I broke it up into the three. Any omissions you think? You think I left one out, a glaring omission? Hit me up, let me know, man. Hit me up in the comments, let me know about, put me up on game. <laughs> That's it, put me up on game. Tell me what I need to know. But these are just my favorite five out of each category. Thanks for sticking with me. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're gonna keep it going, keep the content rolling. We're gonna keep it moving. Let's go.